with a standalone Infinix Pen server. I hope you have downloaded these two versions of Keycloak and Infinix Pen. Please follow the link in the description for the same. Let's just uh, unzip this folder. So it's unzipped. Let's move on to this folder and what we'll do is we'll start the Keycloak server by the default settings okay. and we'll start the server in a development mode. So this is the command to run the server in development mode. Initially the server will be started at 8080 port. As you can see, uh, the server is started and it is up at 8080 port and profile dev is activated. Okay, uh, let's move on to checking this out. As you can, uh, this is how uh, you'll have to set an admin user. So do do when you install install it for the very first time, you will be prompted with adding a admin user uh, for the same for the master, right? So I'm setting admin admin at the rate one two three. Now the user is created. You can log in successfully by using the same password and uh, username. As you can see, there's a master realm. Let's for a demo purpose create one uh, realm say medium we have created a realm let's create a client as well let's say the client has a demo we're just switching the client authentication on for this one now moving on to creation of a user so we'll create a user to test this out so let's say our user is abc abc and the email id is abc at the rate gmail.com let's just create this user what we'll do is we'll set our default password and we'll switch on the temporary flag as on and we are setting the password as one two three okay so we have and as you can see for this realm we can see okay this is one of one of the user created now to now what we'll do is we'll check the login and validate token api where postman collection okay so this is uh, the login api i have configured it beforehand you can check that link out uh, check this curls also in the description in the link in the description provided as you can see the authorized link so we have to update the uh, token of credentials of client id so this is the new credential so what i'll do is i'll update it here in the postman and well i got the token now if I have to validate this token, what we'll do is we'll copy this and this is the validate API. I'll just paste this token here. Okay, and I have to update the client ID as well because this is fresh installation. Then a random new client ID will be generated. As you can see, uh, as you can see, this token is validated and we are getting the details of the user like client ID, username, etc. Okay, now if I'm just, uh, um, if I'm uh, typing any other token, it will return me the, the response as active false. Set up Infinix Pan server. I'll unzip it. Let's move on to this folder. So, we will just start the server this is the command to start the server so as you can see our in our server is up and running at port one one triple two let's just check this out but as you can see, uh, we have to set up a user first. So let's do that. There's a command to do it. I've set a admin user with a password 
uh, with the password has password. Uh, let's start the server again. By default, the text uh, the J group as you can see J group is used for uh, clustering and the stack used TCP by default. Let's reload this and now you can open your server sign in as you can see you can check out the details here. So our key clock and InfiniSpan both are up and running. In next uh, we now we'll connect these two. So connecting to connect these two first we'll visit the official website of Keycloak and we'll see how caching is enabled at Keycloak level. The first statement which you can see you can start Keycloak uh, when you start Keycloak in production mode then only caching is enabled. So you have to start the Keycloak in production mode. As you can see the command which we used earlier was uh, to start the Keycloak was this. Keycloak start dev. Right. So this command is of development mode. You have to start it in production mode. Okay. So to in, to start in production mode, there are certain uh, configuration which you need to do. First of which is you have to configure a host name for this and you have to have some TLS configuration. Uh, we'll do that in subsequent step. Uh, let me show the second step which you have to do is basically these are the caches and you have to decide what cache mode you have to use for a particular uh, cache okay so uh, has recommended here that is what we are going to use for session we can use distributed for work we can use replicated what are these caches its explanation is given here itself you can just check that out okay so let's moving on to the fact the uh, this is where the configuration of uh, these entire thing is placed in uh, keycloak so keycloak's config folder cache ispn.xml file is there it will have default setting we'll update it as per our own requirement let's check that file out first so this is a key cloak folder we'll move to conf directory configuration directory and here you can see there is a this is not used currently because we are we are, have started our server in development mode but uh, these this is the configuration present as you can see there is a local cache distributed cache and uh, what is the media type etc okay now let's start with our first step that is hostname configuration because when you start this in production mode let me show you that as well if i try to start it in production mode by this command the production start command you can see uh, it will show you have to build first and when i'll build and start It will tell me strict hostname resolution but no hostname setting is pro provided okay so to do this uh, at Mac what you can do is first you have to create a certificate for the same the first step uh, for that if you're using Mac go to chain keychain access and you are you will have an option of creating a certificate create a certificate by using this option and uh, you can just write the name as maybe your server name so for example uh, you want to open your website as myapp.com so that should be the name of the server and you can change it to ssl server and then you can go ahead and create the certificate okay as soon uh, as you can see the certificate is created and a dot p12 file will be generated what you have to do is you have to now what you have to do is you have to generate a pem file so to explain you that if you go ahead and check keycloak con default configuration you can see https certificate file uh, the server file is in pm format and uh, server.key is in pm format so your file is generated uh, by keychains except the certificate is generated in p12 you have to convert into pm format to do that these are three commands i'll mention that in the document as well so by this command what we are doing is from certificate we are getting a cert cert.pm file from this command we are getting a key.pm and further we are to in, in decrypt it and then store it uh, the file will be generated and then you can specify the path here and you have to configure your host name so whatever the name which you have just configured in while creating the certificate that should be here so my app.com for example should be here and also you have to update your etc file so you have to tell your local dns that this is 
my local host should be known by this domain to do that you have to basically go ahead and update your as you can see this is your etc host what you can do is uh, in front of your domain that is for local host 127.1 127.0.1 you have to configure okay this this domain can be known by this name as well once you do that uh, your host name and tailors configuration is done now moving on to next step what uh, what should be the configuration of these cache okay so uh, i have already created a file this is a this is an this is a file that will be uh, there are two files basically one is local to infinispan and other is cache cache ispn.xml this is the same one which we had in keyclose con directory so this is how it's updated as you can see we have uh, written a cluster name so it has to identify our cluster uniquely and a site name it's a mandatory parameter and we are using a stack as tcp and you can see uh, what we have done here is so i will be showing example of one cache so for session the caching mode is distributed and we have configured a remote store for it now what will remote store contains basically the host of your infinite local host of your infinite span server and also some authentication which is needed to log into this uh, host and also we are connecting to infinite span using a hot rod client so this is that marshall factory for the same so the same configuration you have to update it for all the caches all the distributed and replicated ones okay so once you have done it you can just copy this file i'll uh, link that in the description section as well moving on to just move forward to keycloak directory ispn just paste it here okay so you have done it just save it so this is done now we have to change the infinite span configuration as well so as you can see in in infinite span server currently we do not have any cache right we do not have any names or any cache names configured uh, but uh, these are the names of can uh, caches which we have to configure at, uh, so that infinite span is also aware that this this is the cache which i have to monitor or which i have to take control of so moving on to infinite span's directory this is the can folder of the same okay so this is the default configuration we'll uh, replace this with uh, the updated one which i have already in place i'll just copy it and uh, paste it here so i've updated this as well and let me explain you the configuration first of all what i have did i have what i have done is i'm using a uh, replicated uh, cache and all the caches which were mentioned in our keycloak i have mentioned it here and uh, also i have mentioned a stack jgroup stack i'm using a uh, jdbc ping has a way to uh, enable jgroup clustering you can use any other uh, any other tech stack you want uh, i am using jdbc ping tcp okay and i am linking that here in the stack section of the transport cluster okay and i'm also identifying this uh, cluster as global cluster and also you can see there is a serialization marshal which i am using here so clico by default serializes using generic jboss marshal and i am allowing all the list and uh, it will help infinite span while communicating from when keycloak communicates to infinite span server it will know ki okay, okay this is the mars marshaling required for it and this is how i'll basically understand this message whatever is coming from and in the text and how to identify which clusters are com connected to connected in my infinite span server this is done by jdbc ping okay so you can see uh, once uh, keycloak gets connected to it uh, you will get to see ki the cluster information of uh, okay so moving on Okay, so let's start our first. Let's start our infinite span server. Okay, so I have started. 
as you can see i get i got an error uh, saying ki i do not have my sql cj dbc driver so by default this uh, jdbc ping the i have used a uh, my sql uh, connection driver to connect to this uh, cluster this table so this uh, driver is not present okay so i'll have to fetch this driver for you okay so let's have this uh, jdbc driver i have uh, placed it in important document i'll just copy it and what i'll do is i'll give i'll copy it to develop deployment directory of infinity span so that uh, this jar is available so let after copying it let's we'll start uh, the server again uh, meanwhile i'll show you uh, so this is the j j groups ping as you can see currently we do not have any information here and this is the same table which we are going to use here for maintaining the clustering information of infinity span okay so let's start with uh, starting the server and we have copied our mysql uh, jar so as you can see there is no error and we have successfully uh, used marshaller generic jbus and also the checking jdbc ping has clustering mechanism now moving on and checking this uh, table as you can see cluster information is there and if you can you can basically start another server of infinity span and check check that uh, will also be added here let's move on you can see uh, these uh, cache names are configured here on keyclock currently there are no entries here and you cannot you can see ki cluster wide statistic has zero number of entries zero total entries etc so let's now move on to setting up our keyclock server okay so uh, i have opened the keyclock default configuration file as you can see there are certain properties in keyclock which you can configure uh, by default it uses the s2 database but you have to update it to mysql or something there's configuration available for that we won't be doing that but you can do that on your own uh, that is how you can do it and uh, has mentioned previously to we have to enable caching at keyclock you have to start it in a production mode and for that host name and tls configuration is must so you have to update with http certi certificate file and http certificate key file these are the two same pm files which we have generated in the previous section and you have to update the host name and also uh, the cache ispn file for the same okay so i have already updated the keyclock configuration in the keyclock folder and also i have updated the cache ispn file so let's start with building it so let's we'll build our uh, moving to we'll build our uh, by using this command command is running and it has run successfully let's start our keyclock server okay well as you can see it's connected to a uh, cluster and it's connected to this node of infinity span as well and our server has started an 8443 port let's check out check that out so yes it's there let's log in well we have successfully logged in but has our uh, cache and everything stored in infinity span let's check let's check that out as well reload this and you can see there are five total number of entries okay and you can check out whether what whether the table hits the table misses stores etc so this gives a flexible ui which was not uh, earlier available because of key infinity span being embedded in key clock server so this was one of the main one of the main issues you there was no way of monitoring or uh, 
getting hold of what is there exactly in the cache let's move on to the data container you can see there are all the cache names are present let's click on session but the metric is available you can see there are three uh, hit one hit there are nine uh, four retrievals one store etc but you can see key you cannot actually see the entry and now this is happening because of the marshaller thing so because uh, we had to use a generic jboss marshaller because uh, keyclock is not updated with the proto graph type so that's the reason this is happening what you can do there's a workaround for that this is you have you can copy this keyclock jar here in the lib folder of uh, infinity span to enable this now i'll show you how you can do that so let's move on to keyclock server here in bin in lib for basically you can file you can check out Okay, so for your reference, I am checking. Uh, I am trying to find my keycloak model infinite span jar. So I have to copy that there, and it's here. Yes, I got that. Let's copy this, and we'll copy it here in lib folder of infinite span. Okay, done. It's copied. Now let's start our server. Let's start both the server, and you can see this was the error I'll show in the console as well. Let's first start the Infinity Span server. Started, starting. It's up and running. Let's start our Keycloak server as well. Starting. Well, it has started. Now I can use a Postman collection to log in. So I've logged in. Now let's just check that out. as you can see now the error is org.keyclock models use a session model so you have to basically import another jar so our previous error is fixed that's how you can basically proceed there are three four jars which you have to copy the lib directory of infinity span of keyclock so you can check that out here and keyclock core model infinity span etc whatever the error was coming i've copied now let's start the server again okay, so i've started let's refresh this uh, okay so currently no session has been established because let's because we have restarted our server let's just hit the login api one session will be established so check that out yes you got a message right so you can see uh, abc at the rate gmail.com was the username who has logged in you can check out the entity etc and you can check the, check out the details of the user or realm etc whatever you want to so that's how you can connect your infinity span to keyclock high five we did it